In this abstract, we utilize the same group of patients that uh, we uh, talked about in the earlier abstract. So looking at uh, patients with MPM1 mutations, but then select the subset who also have the FLIP3 mutation. Uh, and why is that important is because there have been, you know, kind of controversial finding about uh, FLIP3 ITD versus FLIP3 uh, TKD. So if you look at the ELN 2000, um, you know, 17 or um, ELN 2022 criteria, uh, they only identify patients with MPM1 and FLIP3 ITD to have, um, you know, intermediate risk prognosis based on the, you know, 2022 criteria. And they really haven't mentioned much about the commutation between MPM1 and FLIP3 TKD. Now, there's a study a couple of years back uh, reporting um, that FLIP3 TKD and MPM1 actually defines a highly favorable prognostic group. So uh, we wanted to see, you know, in our database, are we um, coming up with the same findings versus something different? Uh, in addition, there's not a whole lot of information about patients who have both of the FLIP3 mutation together. So FLIP3 ITD and FLIP3 TKD. So we also looked at the subset uh, in this study as well. So uh, again, it's between the three sites, we identify uh, 107 patients with uh, both MPM1 and either one of the flip through mutations or both. And what is interesting is that um, those with both flip three ITD and flip three TAD uh, have very poor prognosis. Uh, so worse compared to a patient who just have one of the flip three. Now remember, all these patients also have the MPM1 mutation. So uh, the median overall survival was 8.4 months compared to those with the FLIP3 TAD uh, overall survival not reach versus those with FLIP3 ITD, uh, 42.4 months. Um, but between the groups of FLIP3 TKD and FLIP3 ITD with the commutation of MPN1, uh, it was not statistically significant. So the p-value is 0 0.5. Um, so basically, we didn't really see that, you know, the, the subset of patient of FLIP3 TKD with MPN1 have a very favorable prognosis, like what was reported a few years ago. Um, and, you know, on the latest ELN 2022 criteria, they, they really, again, have not um, mentioned much about the FLIP3 TKD. Um, so I think, you know, more research is needed to kind of identify what is the significance between these different types of FLIP3 along with their uh, interaction with MPM1.